welcome to story time at our store. We're so glad you came to read and explore. Now open your eyes and turn up those ears because you never know who or what will appear this morning. If you can't get, haven't already guessed, we're going to talk about a very special bookstore patron, the bookstore cat. <laughs> And why my bookstore cat is not real, there are bookstores around the country that do have cats, and they are their bookstore cats mascots. I'm going to put mine to the side for a moment and show you our book for today, which is lovely and titled The Bookstore Cat. And this book is by Salen Busby. I hope I didn't butcher the name. That's the author, the person that wrote all the words. And the illustrator is Charles Santoso. Santoso, hard to read that name upside down, who drew all of the pictures. And this book comes to you from HarperCollins Publishing. And we thank all of the publishers for allowing us to read their books to you and bring stories to you each week. Ooh, pretty blue in papers. It's a bookstore. And there's the cat. Looks like she's letting herself in. Now this is actually a type of ABC book. So let's see if you can spot all the letters as I go through. The bookstore cat is an adorable cat. There's the letter A. The bookstore cat is bossy, <laughs> very bossy. <laughs> but cuddly cat. The bookstore cat is a darting cat. An excited cat, a friendly cat, the bookstore cat is a gracious, excuse me, a gorgeous cat, ooh, through, though of course, he's also a humble cat. <laughs> Concerned about himself at all, is he? <laughs> An intelligent cat. Oh, the cat is reading a book. Might be like the cat in a hat. And a jealous cat. Uh-oh, someone else is getting attention. Sometimes he acts like a kittenish cat. But he is always a loyal cat. The bookstore cat is a mysterious cat. Oh, look. <laughs> Hiding in the shelves. When he's not a naughty cat, Oh no, he's made a little bit of a mess there. He made it to letter O. He knows how to be an obedient cat. Or a very patient cat. That's nice. Letting the kids pet him. The bookstore cat is a quick cat and a regal cat. <laughs> Look at the crown. <laughs> in front of a book with a crown on it. And a sleepy, oh, so sleepy cat. Hmm. After a nap, he's a thirsty cat. 
Oh boy, looks like a pond with a fish. Wonder what the S is gonna be. Excuse me, not S, excuse me, you. <laughs> Uh-oh, the bookstore cat is an underwater cat. Fell in. And a vocal cat. Not very fond of water. The bookstore cat is a waiting, waiting, waiting cat. Bounce! He's a Zanops chasing cat. Zanops is the name of this little bird right here. We learn all kinds of things in books, don't we? The bookstore cat is a yucky cat. Ew! Uh-oh, he got a little dirty. <laughs> By closing time, he's a zigzag cat. All over the store. The bookstore cat is all of these from A to Z, but most important of all, he is the bookstore cat. The end. Did you guys like that story? That was a great story. Did you know that this story actually came from a game that is played? where you use the letters of the alphabet to describe the cat. All right, well, you're welcome to play that game by yourself if you'd like or with your parents. I think that would be a lot of fun. Um, please make sure that you tune in next week for our very special guest. Unfortunately, I forgot to bring the book up with me, but the name of it is All Except Axel, and it's by Miss Sue Lowell Gallion, and she is going to join us for story time next week. So make sure that you tune in and pay close attention because I'm sure she's going to have plenty of things for you guys to see and even maybe activities to do. So make sure that you tune in and I will see you next week. Have a great and blessed week. Bye-bye.